Well, hello and welcome to this video. In this video, we're gonna answer the question. If you're gonna be using QuickBooks Online, do you need to be tuned to a desk and be typing away to get the most out of it? Or is there a way where you can actually free yourself from the desk and get a different experience? And that's why today we're gonna to be looking at the iPad and particularly the M1 iPad Pro to see if this is a device that you can use to actually do all of your QuickBooks on. Let's have a look. Hello, my name is Aaron Patrick. I am a chartered accountant, a certified UK trainer with a fancy new logo, that QuickBooks chap on the internet and also head of account over at Boffix. Now, normally if I was interacting with QuickBooks, this is exactly where I will be. I've got my computer in front of me, I open up a browser and off to the races I go with QuickBooks Online. But over the world of Apple, they've been doing something that's very, very interesting. In fact, if you have any PC or laptop in front of you, you'll probably know the term Intel or AMD because that designates that inside that machine is a Intel or AMD processor, which is running the machine. Think of it as the heart and soul of the machine. Now, Apple recently released what's called the M1 chip. And the idea of the M1 chip is to replace having to rely on Intel or AMD and create their own. For their benefit, it was so they could create their own chip so that they will be able to decide what goes in, how much power it's gonna be, and ultimately optimize it compared. And actually, this that you see here is all run by an M1 chip, by an M1 MacBook Air. And I still have a very capable Intel-based MacBook Pro, which is a 16-inch top of the line, and this M1 Air, which is the bottom of the line, can actually, in most circumstances, outperform the Intel variant. So this machine is more than capable of doing anything it needs to do for QuickBooks. And for that matter, as an accountant, it's by far, for me, the most capable machine on the planet if it comes to actually what we need to do as an accountant, reliability, making sure that we got things nice and fast and snappy, then this machine absolutely dominates. But to take it a step further, Apple took the M1-ness out of this machine and put it into an iPad. So in front of me is an iPad that's running the same processor as a full-blown laptop, which means that not only will this be the most powerful tablet in existence by some country mile. It's also going to be a machine that's capable of being able to outperform majority of laptops and other computer processors out there as well. All within something you can pick up, tap on and use as a tablet. Now on this video on this channel, it's not worth me going through and talking about all the specs and specifications and everything else of this machine. There's plenty more people out there who can do, quite frankly, a much better job. But what we can go through is the practicality of it. Having so much power, having something that will last all day and is so portable, surely this is something that needs to be considered when it comes to actually doing real work. And that's where we want to explore today. Can this machine replace this machine? Let's have a go. Okay, so full disclosure, first of all, I am cheating a little bit because I'm using accessories with the iPad. I think if I just use the iPad as what it was intended to be just by itself, with just the glass panel and the on-screen keyboard, I can't see that being as productive as a full-blown keyboard and a trackpad. So yes, I'm using the iPad with what's called the magic keyboard to try and get an experience where I think will be absolutely spot on. Now, a couple of major benefits for this straight off the bat. First of all, this particular one has what is called cellular activity. So you'll see in the top there, we have the opportunity to see that we're actually connected or can connect directly to a mobile network. Now then, that may not seem like a massive importance to you, but what that is important to do is that this means that this device, I can just throw into a bag and I can get connected anywhere. Importantly, I can connect to QuickBooks absolutely anywhere I need to. In fact, if I was in the middle of a field and I had a good telephone connection, I could then actually do my bookkeeping or update or have a look at reports. Whatever I'm needing from QuickBooks, I can do directly from this machine anywhere. 
Now, yes, if I had my mobile phone with me, I could do the same thing, but I'm only get the opportunity to use the mobile app. And I do love the mobile app, but it's not quite the same. And yes, if I had my laptop with me and my phone with me, I could connect the two up and I could tether the internet and I could emulate the same experience, but you're expecting there for having the thing that everything's all synced up, everything's working correctly. Now, at least with this solution, then I'm onto a winner. Okay, so first of all, with the trackpad, I do have a mouse-like experience, so I can move my mouse around, and I've got a keyboard there if I need to. And all I need to do to get the most out of this is to actually go to the app, and today, obviously, we're gonna jump in that QuickBooks app and open it up. Straight away, you can see we've got the benefit there of in Face ID, so I don't need to remember my password or anything for QuickBooks Online. Literally, as long as my face is in front of it and it picks up the face, that can come straight in. And here it is an extended version of that mobile app. Now, we on this channel absolutely love the mobile app. It's something we constantly talk about. It's something that we would highly recommend people use on a regular basis. And you're getting more of the same here. So I can use the menu button on the left-hand side. I can see my dashboard. I can see mileage. And you have the option to auto track directly from the machine as well. I can look at my products and services and, and make amendments to that if I need to. And more importantly, I can go into things like banking. And just like if I was on my desktop, I can jump into any and I can do my banking directly from here. I can match, I can add. And I have a really nice view here that I can use to make everything work in my favor. Plus, if I was going to use like an update to a bank or something, and I wanted to update that bank account, then I do have the option to add a bank from here. And one of the nice things about using a mobile device, so in this case the iPad or your mobile phone, is if you're using any of the fancier ones like Starlin, the challenger banks we like to call them, then actually what happens is it will actually use the app that's on the phone or on the device and switch between the two to authenticate. Gone are the days where you have to sign into your mobile app, put all that stuff in. What it will do is try and find the app on your phone, authenticate that way, and come back again. And you can do the same experience on an iPad. Looking back at the dashboard though, you get all that information that we're interested in. So the cash flow planner is directly in here, so we can use this. Um, I've got the chance to go through expenses and everything else that goes with it. I've got the chance to go through expenses and everything else that goes with it. But you'll also notice that from here, I've got this nice shortcut button at the top. So I can send an invoice from here, I can send an estimate from here, and it's just gonna be the same experience of what my client will see. And on the iPad, you get this really nice view actually, where you can actually interact with that invoice and start building that invoice up as you go along. One of the other advantages is, is you're gonna have the option to do a snap receipt. So all I do is I click snap receipt, suddenly my camera comes into play. And if I have a receipt that I need to take command of, I literally line this receipt up, Take the photo and look how big and crisp that particular view is. From here, I can crop my photo a little bit if I need to. I can rotate it if I need to. But ultimately, I want to use this photo. And because the iPad has a camera built directly in and a really, really good camera, we're talking the same quality as the latest iPhones and Android devices, then you're actually gonna be able to do all of those extra features from a mobile app from here as well. Speeding up your process of getting information in. If I had all this pile of receipts to do on the left of me here, with this device, I can quickly get it done because I'm able to take the photo directly from here and get them into QuickBooks nice and quickly. From the mobile app, I can see some really simplified reports. It's gonna let me know how my business is doing. And I get to see the cash flow as well, which the cash flow is a really key point into how I'm gonna be using and understanding how my business is going. But the secret sauce is this. Now, at this point in time, yes, I can do pretty much everything I need to do, but there's always gonna be those times where the mobile app doesn't quite take you far enough. There's certain things, whereas say for example, if you were VAT registered, you can't do it directly from the mobile app. But the secret is this. All I need to do is switch between apps. And in this case, I'm going from my QuickBooks app to my Google Chrome app. And now I've got the full version of QuickBooks to use 
at my leisure. And then from here, I've got everything that I would ever need to do. I can go into my banking. I've got all my full version of reports here, including my new performance center as well. And I have the chance to go in to do things like my tax, my VAT, see my VAT returns, submit them if I need to. I have everything I need from here that I don't get in the mobile app. And that's where this device becomes brilliant because suddenly you've got a device that can do it all. No other device on the planet can give you the chance to go from the mobile app, which is great and is what I would be my go-to app if I ever needed it, straight to the full version of QuickBooks. And also the new version of the iPad has what's called Thunderbolt. And what Thunderbolt means is, as I've got set up here, I've got my MacBook Air connected to my monitor, to my mouse, to my keyboard, and all I do is do it by one wire, a Thunderbolt wire. Well, I can unplug that Thunderbolt wire, and I can plug the Thunderbolt wire directly into here, and it will replicate the same setup. I mean, I've got my mouse, I've got my keyboard. I don't have to have the magic keyboard to emulate the same experience. But the other great thing, is it has everything else that you would have on an iPad. And I can do pretty much everything I need to do. Microsoft has suddenly come out with a fantastic new way of being able to deal with their apps. Microsoft Office now has one app to rule them all. So from here, I can go through all of my different apps. You can see I'm scrolling through all the different things. I've got back, I've got PowerPoint, I've got Excel, I've got Word. I've got all of the documents you can think of all in one list and I can jump between any of the apps at any point. Also means that they've got the opportunity to do things like image from text, sign a PDF. I've got all manner of things that I need to do from here. And because everything lives on the cloud these days, it becomes really simple for me to find these and put these elements in. If I then need to send an email, I've got my email app or I can use Outlook. If I need to take notes, suddenly I've got the best note-taking equipment on the planet. I can draw, I can write, I can put my information down. And again, all gonna be synced up to all my devices. Anyone out there who's actually doing some editing work, we have full editing capabilities on here as well. I've got iMovie and fingers crossed we'll get final cuts one day. But I've got a solution here called LumaFusion. And with LumaFusion, I've been able to do complete videos just by doing here. In fact, that video that you can see there was done all on here. And just remember when I said about the power of this machine. This is a machine where the M1 chip in my MacBook Air is comparable to a 16 inch MacBook Pro. That's the same technology that's in here. So you can throw anything at it and the thing will just keep going and the battery life will keep going. And as a pro tip, if you use this solution here that I've got called Shadow, then you can actually get yourself a full version of Windows streaming directly to your iPad. And because you've got your keyboard and your trackpad, it's just like using a full version of Windows, but on iPad. So the question I asked at the beginning, can this device replace a traditional laptop or computer? Well, it definitely can. And not only can it do it, but in some circumstances, it can make it a better experience. Now, we're still not perfect. There's still some situations where you have to jump into a version of Chrome to be able to get what you need to do on QuickBooks Online. And the final management of an iPad is fine, but it's not one-to-one -one that you get on a desktop experience. So it is a learning curve to understand of how to download documents, get them sent off by email, them sort of things. But overall, you've got a device that you can literally pick up, put in a bag, and you know it's gonna be able to do whatever it needs to do for you. With by far the best display on any device. It's a new piece of technology called Mini LED, and it just becomes absolutely brilliant. Especially if, unlike most devices, you want to actually use this to consume media as well, you're going to show, see such a difference on here. And what I found, especially with the weather that's been nice at the moment, this is the perfect device if you're sat outside having to do some last minute work, having to get a bit of work done while you're outside. And this device just, just works. It's 
portable, lightweight, get connected anywhere, you really can't go wrong with it. And what it made me think about was there was footage from one of the QuickBooks Connect about how this ideal solution and the customer was using an iPad. They're running their whole business from this iPad. And that's really not too far away because already we've got a device where they can do that. They can take their meetings, they can duck meetings, they can take notes, they can send emails. And if they need to, they can also turn it into an EPOS device as well. Ultimately, would I recommend an iPad to run your business? I certainly would. Yes, maybe for efficiency, a traditional PC laptop, you're gonna be able to do things maybe that little bit more quicker in certain circumstances. But with the fact with the iPad, you can flip between the excellent QuickBooks app which is quick, it's simple. You, the idea that just then I was instantly in, if we had a race between two people who needed to record an expense and someone had to sign into their browser, get themselves signed into QuickBooks, get themselves onto the thing, we would be instantly in on this device. And that's real time. That's the difference between someone saying, I can't be bothered to put my expenses in and for someone who's going to get those expenses in each and every time. And for that, this is priceless. The QuickBooks app is excellent, it's quick, it's brilliant, it's powerful, but it has its limitations. There's certain things you can't do on the app. That's why this device is the only other device in the world where you can go straight from the app, straight to the main version of QuickBooks, and it's like for like, everything you've needed and more. Now, like I said, I'm not gonna use this as a chance to go through all of the different aspects of an M1 iPad and go through those specs. I'll leave some links below to people that I know and I trust who have reviewed this device. Some of the best people on the internet you'll find. But ultimately, I wanted to try this. And as a spoiler, for the last week, I've been using this iPad exclusively. And other than one or two little situations where I had to jump into the computer, which was mainly down to system administration issues at the office. And I was able to exclusively use the iPad for doing my day-to-day -day work. Now, if that's something that you'd be interested, then I'm more than happy to put that onto camera as well. And I'm thinking about doing a little day in the life of having a look at how my setup set up those sort of content. If that's something that you think you'd be interested in, then please, please, please comment below. We can push up the ladder and get it recorded ASAP. Currently on the channel, we've got lots to talk about regarding QuickBooks Online, and there's some things coming up in the future that I know you're gonna be excited about. But for this video, we thought we'd try a little something a little bit different, something a little bit more practical. Let me know below what you think of it. Is this the sort of direction you want this channel to go in, or should we just stick directly to QuickBooks Online? My name has been Aaron Patrick. As always, it's been a pleasure to do this video for me. If you have any questions, you know where the question box is. I'm gonna spend another week with this device and see if I can find out any other quirks or anything else. And I challenge you to do the same. My name's been Aaron Patrick. See you in the next video. Bye for now. Hello and thank you for watching that video. What you may not know is this channel that you've watched this video from is part of a wider group. That wider group is called Apple Core Production. And the three channels that we have involved are as follows. Aaron Patrick, the QuickBooks Chat, 
Boffix tax tip. Finally, we have Apple Core Live in Geeky. All the links and everything are down below in the description, but it really mean a lot to us if you can go and give a like to the other channels as well. Thank you.